who has the nastiest pitch in the game today? It's finally time for me to show the pitcher some love, even though I really don't want to. I get nightmares just thinking about facing any one of these pitchers. If you're new to my content, welcome to my Examine It series, where I give you my top five and you tell me where I went wrong, even though I'm always right. Anyways, strikeout pitchers dominate today's game, and I'm searching for the filthiest pitches. And just remember, this is current players only. So no Nolan Ryan fastball, no Randy Johnson slider, no Phil Necro knuckleball, no Pedro Martinez changeup, no Greg Maddox sinker, no Gaylord Perry spitball, no Dave Stewart forkball, and definitely no Mariano cutter. You see how I closed it out with Mariano? None of them are on this list because it's time to feature a new wave of arms that have devastating stuff. Be sure to follow me and let me know who's on your top five and I'll get it started. Bruh, have you seen Kevin Gosman's split finger? This right-hander is just up there on the bump, starting a pitch in the left-handed batter's box and having it move towards the first base dugout. What kind of stupid unfair movement is that? That split should be illegal. It's already hard enough to hit 95, but then you want to throw a pitch that looks like it should be coming straight and then at the last second dives away from barrels like that? Unreal. No wonder the Giants were doing the unthinkable last year, because they had this cheat code starting every fifth day. I remember him showing Pitching Ninja his grip on the split, and I was thinking, how does he even have control of that thing? But seriously, it's nasty. Guys batted 133 off that pitch last year, but can he have the same success in a Blue Jays uni? Major League Baseball is straight up lying to us, telling us that this pitch is a sinker on national television. I've seen a sinker or two in my day, and this pitch from Blake Training looks like what guys are throwing with wiffle balls in the backyard with. They might as well call this pitch a blitz ball because that's exactly what it looks like to the hitter. Ain't no way a pitch that's 100 miles an hour has even enough time to dance and move across the plate like that. How the hell are you supposed to barrel this thing up? You know it's nasty when you have lefties backing out of the box and the umpire calling it for a strike on the outer half. I'm not even gonna mention the cutter and the slider he throws off of that. Unreal repertoire and unrealistic movement on that sinker. Quote unquote sinker. And if anything, Rob Manfred needs to lock that pitch out. The Tampa Bay Rays have some of the nastiest arms in the game. But this four-seam fastball from Shane McClanahan that he throws at 100 miles an hour, but really moves like a two-seamer, is ridiculous. Tampa held the reins back on him a little bit last year, but this kid is the real deal. When you throw 100, with that type of movement, it's gonna be tough for any hitter to square that pitch up. Not to mention this dude hides the ball exceptionally well and then at the last second the ball straight up explodes out of his hand. You don't have no time to react as a hitter. You know he has the advantage at Tropicana too because it's so dark in that stadium you can barely see a thing. Did you peep last year's division series? You had to brighten the TV just to see who was batting. Anyways, McClanahan's fastball is one of the nastiest pitches in the league, and if you ain't been watching him do his thing, you better recognize. This next dude is throwing cutters at 102 miles an hour. Let me repeat myself, he's throwing cutters at 102 miles per hour. Emmanuel Class A literally throws the hardest cutter the game has ever seen, and he's got that accuracy with it too. He ain't walking, guys. A lot of times we see guys throwing that hard, giving up their fair share of walks. That's not the case with this guy. He only gave up 16 walks in about 70 innings last year. Class A knows exactly where his pitches are going and knows how to make you look stupid swinging at them. Like why is this ball even moving up there like that? Throwing triple digit cutters like he's playing catch. He's quietly emerged as a great young closer with some nasty stuff who only gave up 10 runs all of last year. I'm not even calling him Emmanuel anymore. He's the new MC Hammer because you can't touch this. There was no way I could have a top five nastiest pitches in the game list without the nastiest pitcher on it, Jacob deGrom. I mean, really, it's the slider for me, even though I didn't seem to have a problem with it, but that was long-haired deGrom, so that was a totally different person. But let's not kid ourselves. He's always been nasty, but the slider is flat out unhittable. No other pitcher has the combination of the velocity, the movement, the late break, deception, and precision on one pitch like deGrom does with the slider. Visually, it looks like a straight fastball coming in and after you've already made your decision to swing it's like you can't stop yourself from swinging at the pitch that dives down and out of the zone he's like a magician with that pitch now you see it now you don't and how's this guy continually throwing it harder and harder every year now that's what's unfair to me he's basically a two-pitch guy with the fastball and the slider so you know what we might as well add the fastball on this list too while we're at it because that pitch is just as untouchable i'm hoping he stays healthy this year and we get to see that dominance all season you guys examine the extraordinary and let me know what you got.